Thank you for calling San Francisco Customer Service Center. This is Lynn. How may I help you? So the official name is the City and County of San Francisco's 311 Customer Service Center. We had to buy all new technology, which was a uh, a bit of a challenge because there are so many bells and whistles out there. We made very specific decisions about the kind of technology we were going to purchase um, as well as uh, making sure that it was flexible enough to do what it needed to do. So we have a very standard but best practices call center facility. We've geared this to be a 24-7 operation. We're starting small and we're kind of ramping up as we publicize this. We've started with 48 operators and about 8 or 10 supervisors right now. We are going to grow that into another dozen or so. As far as phones, we've got about 60 or 70 phones. One of the things we've done is we've created 3 on one to be a backup for 911 too. So in case there's an emergency and 911 goes down, 101 Turk Street goes down, they're going to come here and operate. So our entire training room has got phone lines and phone jacks that can double as a 911 dispatch center. So when you talk about cable lens, it's, it's about quadruple the amount we'd normally use for a 311 center because it's totally wired to be a 911 backup. We got the best switch for a call center, which is an 8700, an S8700. And we've got something like um, 30 T1s for 311 sticking out of it. A T1 is over 100 phone lines is one T1. So we've got 30 of them. 311 has about six different components. We never did the call center component before. So what we did when we put in our bid is we relied on subcontractors that had expertise in that. We got AT&T and we got Unisys, two of the leading subcontracting vendors in the call center space. And we kind of bolstered our bid with them. We kind of went best of breed. We got the best call center group. We got the best group to do telecom, which was AT&T, and telephone switches. We used ourselves for the IT project management requirement services. We used best of breed, and that actually won us the project. I was very mindful of using taxpayer dollars, and so it was what will last, what will work, and what will actually uh, be flexible enough for us to um, grow with the businesses that we're going to be providing. May I have your name, please? The customer relationship management tool that they're using, the application that they're using, is a front leak Windows-based application. It's basically a tool that allows us to capture data for from the customer, the caller call, calling into the center, as well as all the knowledge base of the applications and the departments within the city. We have over 6,000 records of the city departments. The initial page is some scripting and basic information that we gather, and we'll enter uh, the type of call it is. And based on that, we go up to another window and go deeper into it. Depending on their responses, the system will give the operators a script to ask the next question. We keep going down that process until we get all the details we need from the customer that's called in in order to make that service request. It's all there in front of them, so it's very simple as far as knowing when the call comes in. They get a light flashes of a uh, ring in the air. They glance down at the bottom of their screen and will tell them, you know, how many calls we have in queue, if we have any calls in queue, how long the longest call has been waiting, and also there's information that tells them how many calls that they, they have taken, okay. how long they're talking on the call, how long if they have to place a customer on hold, we need to check back with that customer in 30, 60 seconds. We're looking about, I think when they went out and surveyed this, about 1.5 million calls a year. We're expecting to take between three and 5,000 calls a day here in the center. Correct. The very next K Ingleside that is heading towards downtown from St. Francis Circle. We also get real-time updates from the operators, the bus drivers and, and such, central control. If there's any malfunctions or any you know, reasons for a bus being late, we'll have that information readily available. San Francisco Customer Service Center, this is Gail, how may I help you? One of the reasons I believe why uh, they went with this company was that their software learns and retrains itself. There are a couple ways. Uh, one, every time the CSRs uh, receive a call and is able to provide uh, relevant and correct information to the caller, they're trained to click on a link that states this was the correct answer. And every time that happens, it trains the whole entire system to say, for this question, this answer worked. Another tool that we use is what's known as vocabulary maintenance. We train the systems on words to ignore and synonyms. We're trying to provide more answers as well as provide the best customer solution that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 140 plus languages. 
The most inefficient time that the center will be is at the Thank beginning. The we'll only get better. We'll be the best. San Francisco will be the number one call center. In terms of um, efficiency, um, what we've been able to build with what we've spent, um, in terms of the quality of our training, in terms of the services that we were providing, um, it's going to be the best.